So let me review what we've done so far. We've got our bamboo pad and we've hooked it to our machine. And then we've changed some options so it will work. We went to Camtasia Recorder, Tools, Options, Capture, Tab, and Customize Toolbar. And so it would give us the pin tool at the bottom so we could actually use that during our recordings. Now the pin tool itself has a number of uh, shortcut keys that you can just hit on the keyboard. You can see highlight and ellipse and pin. They all have their various uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts, but of course you can access those through the menu, which we showed you how to do earlier. Now that we've actually done some annotating with the pen, let's edit those videos. And what we're going to do, we're actually just going to go and open up uh, where the videos were saved, drag those onto the canvas, and edit those. Those are saved in My Documents. And in the My Documents folder, there is a Camtasia Studio. Now, you could have saved them anywhere in the saving process. This is where they automatically go. And the two uh, uh, videos that we're interested in, or camera files that we're interested in, are the Camtasia Full Circle 1 and Camtasia Full Circle 2. Let's drag those onto the uh, clip bin. So I'm going to just highlight them and control shift on both of them and drag them to the stage. So now both the videos are on the stage and I can process those videos or edit those videos just by dragging them into the video editing uh, timeline below. And I'm just going to put the second one right behind that one so now you can actually see both videos on the screen. So what we've done is we've brought the two video clips that we want to edit into Camtasia and now we want to actually uh, drag those onto the screen and we all just keep uh, regular dimensions and grab the other one to the screen. And we're going to apply our pan and zoom tool. And we're actually going to trim this video a little, a little bit as well. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, scroll over to the beginning. I can actually listen to this video as I uh, edit it. So I'm playing it now on the screen. We're talking about Turn Camtasia my... Full Circle. Going to do a series of tutorials on how to edit with Camtasia. And so one of the things you can do is actually magnify the timeline with this magnifying uh, glass. And when you come to somewhere you don't like, you can actually cut it out. So let's play a little bit more so we can find an area we don't like. There's five steps here. We're going to show you how to annotate using a bamboo pad, editing using zoom and pan, producing for the web or YouTube. And we see over here, if we pan a little bit, we can see there's a, a large dead space here. We want to get rid of that dead space. Let's play that, and we can see the image that's being played. It's when I'm navigating to the uh, Wacom site. So the one way to cut that dead space basically is just to grab your marker, uh, highlight that, right-click on the screen, and you can just basically cut the selection down here. Let me bring this down so you can actually see this uh, drop-down menu. If I right-click on the area that I've selected, I can hit Cut Selection, and then it's cut. Now, if I just make a cut I don't like, then I can Control-Z and bring that back. Many times when I'm doing recordings, I'll make like a, a audio mistake, a cough, or someone will rattle something in the room. And this tool can become very useful. And I'll just basically repeat what I'm going to say and come along and cut it until it sounds nice. I actually had a, a tutorial that I had gotten up at 4 o'clock in the morning that I was working on. didn't go well, and it just sounded like a rattled mess. And my worker next to me I went, oh my goodness, you'll never do anything with this. But by the time I had edited it, you couldn't hear any of that, and it sounded great. So this edit tool is your best friend when it comes to working with Camtasia. Very simple to use. Basically, just find a place you don't like, highlight that area, and right-click and cut the selection. Now, uh, if you have problems getting to the actual audio piece, you just expand that audio and you can get right in on the area that you want to take out. So a great tool to work with. And now let's show you how to zoom and pan. So I'm back at the very beginning. Uh, it's spread out a little bit, so let me bring it back down. And I'm starting to play my audio. Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University. And I notice this area right here on the screen is basically just too small for my viewer to see. So I can actually come over here and I can click Zoom and Pan. And uh, I'm going to open this up a little bit so you can actually see what's going on. And as I shrink it, you can see my screen expands right here. I can move this circle around, or the square, I can move this square around to hover over the area that I'm interested in expanding. And now, this becomes very important when you're doing YouTube videos because uh, in YouTube videos, the screen is always 320 by 260, so you want to be able to get in on that 
particular area so people can see it. Now, let me bring this back up because there's something very important I want to show you here. And that is you can actually move the pan around. So say there's something before that was going to be large or after. So I can actually move this around and it will change the position of where that actually that zoom or pan was. Isn't that a nice feature? So once again, great features. Now one of the things you need to realize is you cannot use the cut and zoom at the same time. So when you're done zooming and you want to resume cutting, you have to hit finish. And now I can come along here and go to a different area, listen to it, and right click cut. But if I try to uh, cut and zoom at the same time, I cannot. So once again, when you're done with that, you can come along and just hit uh, zoom and pan again and resume zooming, I guess you'd say that. And so I think when it comes to creating great tutorials for YouTube, the uh, cutting and the zoom tools are fantastic. There's a number of other tools with you can use with Camtasia, but these are the two primary tools that I use. You can actually put uh, callouts and boxes and a ton of other things. Just go to the Camtasia website, www.techsmith.com, and check out their fantastic tutorials.